Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like. Please subscribe down below. And I appreciate all the support from everybody. And as you can see, we have a different review in front of us today. It is a Vans National Geographic collaboration. I guess they released a couple of different pairs of these, which we'll get into in a second. And this pair in front of us is a Vans Nat Geo Old School. Men's size 12. And as you can see, there's a little photo of one of the sneakers right there. Now, I would recommend if you are going to buy a pair of Vans, especially like an old school low or something like that, go down a half a size. They run pretty big. Um, I would try them on if you can. Most of the time, Vans are still available in store. They don't usually sell out too quick. Go try a pair on because I recommend going at least a half size down, especially if you have a narrow foot. And this is what we got today. This released uh, pretty recently. I will put an exact date on there. And the retail price on this pair was, I believe, $70. And these shoes did not come with this cardboard right here in the lining. I did that to make the shoe keep shape for the video so you guys can see the photos as I go over them. I just figured it'd be a little bit better for you guys to be able to see that and just a little bit more shape to the shoe. It's a little easier to kind of envision how it is because the shoe is very kind of flimsy. The fabric, it folds over. All right, enough of that. So this is what we got today. Vans old school, but this bright yellow Nat Geo colored sole on the outsole. You have that classic gum bottom underneath. The outsole here has the oriental whip snake, which is the snake shown on this side of the sneaker. And this would be the right shoe. You also have the scientific name at the bottom. National Geographic with their square box logo on the back. Underneath the tongue, you have just a normal van size tag. On the insole, you have a van's National Geographic photo arc and then it will say a name right there which is Joel Saratoria. Yeah, it's hard to see sorry about that and if we flip it around onto the other side there is another animal on the other side which is a sloth the brown throated tree toad sloth right there scientific name at the bottom so the details are pretty cool. If you're an animal lover, if you love National Geographic, obviously this would be a cool shoe to add to a sneaker collection. If you like Vans, this is something unique to add to your Vans collection. I personally tried these on. They fit good. I just don't like the way they feel. I'm more of a higher mid person. So for me personally, unfortunately, I'm going to lose the photographic because I really like that. But I'm going to get the actual skate uh, high pair, which just has Nat Geo across. The wolf right here on this side, which is the Mexican gray wolf scientific name is at the bottom there nat geo on the back with the same box logo right here if we flip it around we have the red-eyed tree frog with that scientific name as well so you get the whole gist of the theme here and what they're doing on each sneaker this is the left shoe because the other was the right you have the off the van or the vans off the wall uh, uh tag and i thank whoever commented in one of my previous videos i did not know this is also a sticker so you have a sticker and a tag in one. Then you also have this Vans Nat Geo tag right here. If you flip it around, your purchase has a purpose. There's a little message there. And then it is tied with this kind of uh, rawhide twine, which is interesting to see. And there's a look at the top part of the shoe right there. All black, very simple, nothing crazy, same gum outsole. And this is just how the shoe would look laced up, just so you guys can see. Once again, they do not come laced, they come like this. I just want to lace one up for the video so you guys can get an idea of the shape of the shoe, how it looks laced up, and all that good stuff. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to drag this out any longer. I just wanted to bring these to you guys because I know they're a little unique. I don't know how many people are reviewing them. People might want to see them. People might want to decide whether they want a pair or not. Oh, I thank you guys for sticking around. If you're here to the end, I thank you guys for watching this. And let's get a little conversation going. Do you like National Geographic? Do you like these vans and the collaboration they did? Do you like any of the other pairs that I showed earlier in the video and the photos? I personally, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is the midsole. The yellow is really, really bright. And I'm not really too much of a yellow guy. That's just me. I don't feel like it looks good on me in terms of a color. But other than that, let me know what you guys think. Let's get some conversation going in the comments about these. Thank you guys for watching the review today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys around in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great day. All right.